Among all the worlds that came into being during the awe-inspiring act of creation, tiny specks that float aimlessly through the immensity of the universe. Our planet Earth moves tirelessly on, witness to a million dreams and illusions, in which fantasy takes on the appearance of reality in every corner of the Earth, in the oceans, in the forest, and on the snow-covered mountains. On this planet, there is good and there is evil, and in the devil's dominions live all the witches and all the monsters that we have read about in our childhood. This is a world in which goodness and virtue are considered acts of high treason on the part of anyone who practices them and are a cause for trial and punishment. A horrible vengeance shall be had Who is like a child that isn't bad Make me thump thump and riding hood And they tend the wolf and ogre too Oh, what a disgusting thing to do They go to law and mars and honor Those two little brats shall meet their end The monster has rights as well, my friend So come to stay on, there won't be free this year you know, if I chant a magic song, in only two seconds, they'll be gone. And that evil pair will do what is fair. And should they refuse their hands, they will lose. And do what we choose, the devil's dominion can tolerate That us use the tricks that we all know. Bring forward your strength, those kids must go. Leave me no and ride in the wolf and the ogre changed their way. You know that a traitor always pays. They really didn't mean to be so good to those two brats. And now it is our the decision to make. Up on their hands, up on their hands, up on their hands, up on their hands. Attention! Lend an ear! Please listen to these instructions to the honorable jury. Is the kidnapper here? Present. And ready to work. I kidnap children who are disobedient because they're tender and make good broth. Our companion, Frankenstein? Present. The monster carried head, ready and waiting with my head full of water. <laughs> and now the man and the monster, better known to us in our world as two in one. Here, yeah, making trouble as always. <laughs> Quiet down. Her ridiculous highness, the witch at her head, the comical sister of her most magnificent highness, the queen of badness and evil, and as such her sole heir. I'm yours, dear vampire. <laughs> and who wants the old witch? And now her serene highness, our ruler and Snow White's stepmother, although she regrets it. Excuse me, my sister is bathing right now, sir vampire. Good, she probably needs it. The father of Hurricane... Present. Majesty, the Queen of Badness. Hear ye, hear ye, pay your respects to the Queen of Badness, our mistress in all things that are evil. Hail to the Queen of Badness! What are the charges against that stupid animal and the ogre? By your leave, your Majesty. First of all, 
the so-called ferocious wolf, instead of eating up Red Riding Hood like any honorable monster, and in an act of vile treachery against our brotherhood, dare to make friends with a child who is in the side of good. Yeah. And as for the ogre, he became cowardly and obedient. He began eating spinach and cereal and other such foods. Instead of doing his duty as a monster and eating Tom Thumb and all of his brothers, the dear old man prefers popcorn. Don't believe anything that hypocritical vampire says. And would you also be so bold as to deny that the so-called ferocious wolf, accompanied by that disgusting little skunk, have the stupid custom of going for walks and riding hood among the flowers, singing absurd songs in the forest? What do you say in your defense? I must protest. I must protest also. Then speak. We are listening. We protest the insolent tone of which the vampire accused us. He has a loose tongue. You don't like his tongue? What? No, I wouldn't say that. Although you must admit his tongue is razor sharp. I mean, uh, razor sharp. You agree, Mr. Yes, Roger? I do. He went just a little too far in his accusation. He's tried to make a few little sins seem like horrible crimes, just to distract from the horrible crimes he's committed. What I'd like to know is why the vampire looks so bloodless. No, me, me, I can explain. The vampire is skinny because the other night he sucked a witch's blood. That's not true. Ah, uh, well, uh, what I meant to say was, uh, that is, uh, the witch ate all the edible victims, so there wasn't anybody left whose blood the vampire could suck. Be quiet, stupid. Ah, ah, look up there. Ooh. That's my faithful squire. Ah, okay, I'm listening. I forbid the accused to talk. What is your verdict, you of the jury? We're innocent. We're innocent. <laughs> Kill the No! We're innocent! Very innocent! We're innocent! In view of your foul treason, I condemn you to die by the circular saw. So be it! By the saw! Oh, no! By the saw! Oh, have mercy on me, Madam Witch! You just can't do this to me! Oh, I can't stand that woman! She gets on my nerves! And my new ulcer is about to burst! Silence, you! Your Majesty, by your leave, we humbly beg that you also punish that hateful little Red Riding Hood and Tom Thumb. Those two little brats are full of tricks. I sentence those two children and all the inhabitants of that town to fall under the spell of my royal and malicious power. Hear me now. They'll be turned into little rodents. And into monkeys also. Sorry, the villagers are really in for trouble. Gotta tell them. Gotta tell them. As to the sentence, rely on me. These two traitors are to go to the spinning blade and die. A full moon is to be the signal. And when the infernal owl hoots for the third time, hoot now, we'll speed up the process. <laughs> That's not fair. She made him out the first time. It's a dirty trick! Ah. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I know you're hiding. Come out. Come on out now. Be a good lad.
the boat, my pretty baby. I am barely one in time. If I were to find a needle, why, I wouldn't steal it. I. Time is short, we must be going. You're so small, you need a guide. So you listen close, don't you be that way, or your mama will tell your hide. Find that little scamp, no larger than. find you, didn't I? Oh, that's easy. With a nose as big as his, he can find anything. You see? You see? Take that, you naughty little boy. You deserve a spanking. Come along, Duke. Come on. Oh, time to move. Gotta warm the villagers. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Hey, what's going on, Stinky? The ferocious witch, the queen of badness, has taken the ogre and the wolf prisoner. Calm down, Stinky. I can't understand a word. I said that the queen of badness and the monsters have taken the ogre and the wolf prisoner and have been condemned to death. Oh, my God. That's right. And what's more, he's so mad at the villagers that he's going to cast a spell on them and change them all into ugly monkeys and into mice. We've That's got to right. warn the villagers. We'd better uh, hurry. Uh, 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 this is awful. I'm worried to death. I hope we get there in time. I contaminated this water that the villagers use. That pair of brats is going to be sorry, sister, because they tried to defy my magic. Adelhead, fly over and keep an eye on the villagers. It'll be fun to see them turned into ridiculous-looking animals. <laughs> Return to inform me of what you see. Children! Children! Quiet down, you're making too much noise. Oh, I can't understand why Tom is so late. It's almost time for supper. If you want, I'll go look for him, Mama. You'd better run down to the river instead, darling, and fetch me some water. Come on, fellas, come and bring the water back. I'll use my magic and cunning and the contents of my jaw. Good afternoon. Blessings on you. It's the devil's afternoon, that's what it is. Who can stand this heat? That's blasphemy. But it's true, I never felt worse than I do today, this insufferable heat. And my daughter went to visit my mother. She must have stayed to play in the we woods. We might as well quench our thirst to offset the heat. Let us have some water, good woman. I can assure you, I just brought it from the river. I hope it's good and fresh. No, that's all right. You drink first. Oh, that certainly tasted good.
my brother.
Your big mouth just doesn't kid me anymore. Cause you tremble worse than those mice on the floor. You and the youth just not for growling. I'm convinced you couldn't hurt a flea. You show it, and I know it, that you sure are more afraid than me. You don't want to die, and that's the fact I know. Ha 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 ha, free? I am put to laugh, but don't blame me. You do all the talking, but you're still not walking. And in jail you meet your end. We are only here because we were betrayed. But as for you, I know you are afraid. You were going to have a banquet of some babies that you stole. But when you had to change the diapers, then your legs began to fold. You became so scared your appetite got cold. Ha 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 My friend, they will split you in two from and two and And when the job's finished, your bones will be diminished. Too little comes to make their bread. It looks as if we're really going to die. I am very young yet. I'm not 21 yet. I don't want to write my will. We have got to find a way to fly. With my intelligence. And with my experience. We'll find a way to leave this cell. And break the evil witch's spell. You two shut up. Do you hear me? Well, I, uh... Listen, Mr. Better Than Nothing. How about giving prisoners a bite to eat? Don't you dare call me names, you idiot. You know my name is two in one. I mean our name. We're joined at the back with Siamese twins. Zombie twins? They're ugly, but I didn't think they were zombies. Siamese. Oh. This is dog face. On the other hand, I'm good looking. Isn't that so? Quiet down. <laughs> my poor officer is starving to death. Why do you talk so much about eating you two? In a few more hours. The evil owl will sing his song and you two will be closer to death. <laughs> Do you still want food, knowing that? <laughs> anyway, we'll see what can be done. What say you? Here comes Caridad. <laughs> he has roast chicken. <laughs> All the people that live in the witch's house are really weird. Mm. Mm, that smells good. Mm. No, I, I didn't mean it. I'm just delirious from hunger. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean it, really. Wolf, it's roast chicken. And it certainly looks delicious. And we owe our thanks to our jailer, Mr. Hot Cross Bun. Eh? I mean, Mr. Two-in-One. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear Mr. Two-in-One. And you too, Mr. Bullethead. Thank you very much. Pass the tray, hurry. Can't you see that every minute I die a little more? But who told you he brought this meat for you? No. Who is it for, then? Why, isn't it obvious? For us, naturally. Marvelous. Ten thousand curses. I could eat two horses and half an elephant. Ah! But don't you worry your little head, because we're going to give you special permission to watch us eat this chicken from yourself. Ah! Hey, you're biting my hand. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Mm. Mm. But just to show that we're soft-hearted, you can give them a bite or two. Okay. Mm. How is this all the food we're going to get? It's not much. Just a minute, my fine feathered friend. They gave that meat to me. Drop dead. They gave that meat to me. No, 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 no. That's such a ridiculous amount of food. I'm afraid I'll have to eat it all by myself. No, 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 no. Oh, ah, my. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, 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 no. 
We better do something. They're going to murder each other. Open the Leave door. Leave it shut, dog face. They're just having a little fun. No, 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 no. Don't worry. No. Oh, oh my. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. No. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh. My dear little friends, I know you're all tired from walking so far. I know why your hearts are troubled, but I must inform you that there is no way I can help you with your problem. And why is that? My magic powers have no effect in these parts as long as there's a queen of badness. The queen of badness enchanted our parents, and there's no one to run the town. And she's going to kill the ogre and the wolf, who are now good. That's right, but there is a great obstacle. The Queen of Badness has them under her spell, as you must know. But is there anything we can do? I help those whose hearts are good and pure. Only let me say, you'll have to use caution and face all the perils that are in the devil's dominion. She has a bowl called a filter that protects her. It contains all her magic powers, and so you must destroy it, and soon, come closer. I'll touch you with my magic wand so that you won't suffer from hunger, thirst, or from the cold. Thank you, gracious lady. Now you must go. May God watch over you. Hi, where are you two going? Wait for me. No, Tom, you can't go. You're very small. You'd be in great danger. Oh, please, Barry. Couldn't you make me as large as they are so that I could go along too? Your wish is granted. Stand still. Grow, Tom, son, grow. May you be valiant as a lion. Yippee! You did it! I'm full grown! I'm the biggest boy in the world! Thank you very much. Thank you, lady. Stanky, Riding Hood, wait for me, wait! I'm going along with you! Hotter than the center of a volcano. Uh, uh, what did you say? I said hotter than a volcano. But if you don't agree, we'll say it's much hotter. We'll say 40 volcanoes. All right, I was only asking. Oh, there's gnawing hunger. You mean to say you're still hungry? Me? No, no, not the slightest bit. How about you? Me? Oh, no, I feel just fine. Uh, come to think of it, it doesn't smell bad at all, does it, Mr. Roger? No, Mr. Wolf, not at all bad. How about it, there? Uh, shall we go take another look at it? Ah, to tell you the truth, I think it's a splendid idea. Good. Since I'm bigger than you, I'll be first. I have a better idea. Let's both start at the same time. <laughs> I know what to do. Let's split the meat in two, in two parts that are equal. There, now you're talking. That's the way to avoid a duel to the death. Bang God! You say. No, I want that piece. Oh, 
back we're ready to do battle the only things we lack are the keys to the door yeah an insignificant detail i hate to say i don't have my boots or i could run seven leagues or if only tom were here he's an intelligent child he'd tell us how to escape ah that's nothing if only stinky were here with us neither you nor i would be in the studio yeah cell. and if my aunt had wheels no let's put our heads together we need a brilliant plan Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, I've got an idea. An idea? Yes, it's a tremendous idea. Then let me hear uh -huh. it. Ah, doggone it, it got away. The idea? Yeah. You idiot. And I got all excited. Let's be more practical. My golly, there's a flea biting me. Please, that's the solution. You're making fun of me, but let me tell you something. I'm good and mad now. Ah. Now you listen to me, Mr. Ogre. I tell you, I got the greatest idea of the century. Tell me now, did you ever hear anybody talk about a flea called Panflita? Cachi fuchi fuchi fuchi. Cachi fuchi fuchi fa. If you walk within my region, I'll find out who you are. Golly, this is the border of the devil's kingdom. I don't like this at all, Tommy, do you? Oh, who's scared of the old witch? I'm the biggest boy in the whole world now. Stop posting. How I'd love to get a chance to use the slingshot Come on, on her. Let's hurry. Be careful with these rocks. <laughs> We've got to get out of here as fast as we can. We mustn't get separated. Give me your hand, Riding Hood. Give me your hand, Tom Thumb. Middlers. Those two brats are insufferable. I'll deal with that skunk also. They'll find out what happens to idiots who dare to invade my dominions. They won't get out of here alive. Satan! My master and lord! Arise! This is something serious! Are you sure this is the right way, Stinky? Sure, I'm sure. I know this path like the palm of my paw. I never made a mistake. The tree will send my message. Attention! I'm calling all monsters. I'm calling all monsters. Riding Hood with a dog, a skunk, and another child called Tom are in his dominion. You are to obey my orders. Deter the intruders and kill them without hesitation. Attention you all, you will obey your orders. You must do your duty. <laughs> This is awful. This place is as scary as a haunted house at midnight. My goodness, what was that? There's nothing here that will hurt us. So don't be scared. I've got my slingshot here. Don't be so confident. We're in the devil's kingdom, and we could easily fall into the hands of the evil witch. Let's go see if the ogre is still in jail, Stinky, so that he and the wolf can help us find the witch's evil photo before it's too late. Let's go. Stop stalling. Women and children first. Where are your manners? In that case, you go first, Pally, because now I'm taller than you. Look out. Here comes one of those monsters. A 
come your foley. Riding Hood Tom Tom and that smelly little skunk went to speak to our enemy, that stupid fairy of the dawn. I know that. Those meddling little idiots have dared to defy me. But I assure you that they won't ever be able to take the magic filter away from me. They're so innocent that they don't suspect that at this moment my monsters are about to do away with them. Let's see. Which way is it? Oh, it's over this way. Hurry now, or we'll fall into the witch's hands. Oh, my foot is caught and it hurts. There you go. Putting your foot in it. Putting your foot in it. Oh, my goodness, look! It's hot. It's a monster. Push him back! Push him back! Better get myself out of here! Protect him! That's a good dog! Oh! My pinky! Keep him away from riding with the dog! Run! Run! Bello, you're just about all done! Cirilla's going down! Yippee! Yippee! I have shown you that I hold no grudge against you for having called me an idiot. And I hope I have convinced you of something else. That as far as strength is concerned, you are no match for me. Is that perfectly clear? Go waste your breath, sir. I'll make a bet with you, my friend, that I'm braver than you are. You're batty. You don't believe me, huh? Okay, I'll oh, prove yeah? it. Then show me. Come on over here. Now watch closely. Mm. Pay attention. Uh, see what I'm doing? Uh, I'm laughing at the pay. Uh, there you have it. Uh, Holy <laughs> smoke. I think you're loony. It's suicide to do such a thing. You're being foolish. You think so? Well, let me tell you something. I love to live dangerously. You've really got a screw loose. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it one bit. But even though I were on my deathbed writhing in agony, the most important thing to me is my reputation for bravery. You, on the other hand, just because of those bumps on the head, you're starting to snivel already, you cowardly ogre. I'm going to demonstrate to you that the ogre is not a coward, you stupid bird dog. There, how about it? Dumping catfish. I must admit you're still a little bit swollen. You look like a rhinoceros. Hey, two and one. You want to know something? Yeah. My nerves are so upset that I can't stand it any longer. Calm down. <laughs> I know. You can't wait to put the prisoners on the racks and wear all the blaze because they're paying us a bonus, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But look how my hands are trembling. To be very frank, I don't blame you. But you'll have to wait at least four days, Carrot Head. The moon is in full till then. That's the bad part about it. Hey, listen. Suppose we were to bring no. the execution ahead. Do you want to die young? No one dares to disobey her. At least to tell. Hey, Tom. Stay with us. It's awfully dangerous out here. I already told you that I'm not scared. I'm bigger than a giant. Uh -huh. He's certainly brave. Don't you agree, Stinky? Yes. But he's got to learn not to make bravery with foolishness and also show more respect toward his elders.
I'm surrounded by idiots. My <laughs> darling, I never thought this would be so much fun. Just let me finish this knot. I want to make sure it's all done. Yeah. Oh, everybody. enough for now. I think you'd all better go home now. Oh, gee, we'd like to stay here. You can't stay here. You'd be in great danger. Go on home now. We've got to go to the witch's castle. Now, Jack. Well, I think he's right. Let's go home. Come on, you two. Oh, ah, and as for you, you're gonna hang there till Christmas. That's the last straw. All my monsters are imbeciles. It's a real disgrace. I must admit it. A real disgrace. It's stupidity the way I look at it. It's quite obvious now that that awful fairy of the dawn is playing a dirty trick. How come? But don't you realize what she's doing? She's protecting those little brats, naturally. But you'll see the difference when I finish preparing this new formula. I've been thinking for hours. Ha, ha, ha. Pain, go away. Come again some other day. Now it's my turn. There. Pain, pain, go away. Come again some other day. Aren't you happy that the swelling has gone down at last? I told you, Mr. Rover. Isn't it wonderful what a little bit of poetry will do? <laughs> <laughs> I think the moment has come to speed up the execution of the wolf and the ogre. Satan, our master of the dark dominion, come and help us now. All other means have failed us. And so we need a full moon. Use your powers and make the infernal owl hoot for the third time. Did you hear that 
cursed owl he sang for the third time, my dear friend. No, no, I object. There's no justice in this world. It isn't fair to make anybody die so young, especially in my case. I don't count, huh? But we're not going to die, because what I've got in my hand is going to be our salvation. Did you hear it, too? Strange things are going on here. It's early for that silly bird to begin hooting again. So what difference does it make? At last, the time has come for us to get our hands on that reward. Mrs. <laughs> Abe! Mrs. Abe! We're going to be rich! We'll have oodles of money! <laughs> Quiet, you! You think I'm going to share my earnings with you even though you are my brother? Stupid dolt! I'm going to the cell right now and bring our inheritance here. You be careful with those two or they're liable to trick us. <laughs> <laughs> now at last, we have a job to do. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, sure I do. Yes, I think they're coming for us in a loud. Oh, this is so sad, my dear. To think that you'll be left all alone in just two or three minutes. And above all, Mr. Roger, who's going to help Lady Panflita take care of her millions? She'll have no one to look after her. Millions, did I hear you say? Yes, millions upon millions. Actually, no one in the world is richer than she is. What's all this crazy talk? Who's this Lady Panflita? Lady Panflita is so polite, a gentle and intelligent flea. Oh, she's only a flea. You mean she's a multimillionaire flea, right? Uh -huh. That's right, uh -huh. that's right, uh huh? Excuse me, Lady Panflita, I'd like to introduce you to Carrot Head. I couldn't understand anything she said. She only said that she'd be very happy to make your acquaintance, Mr. Buckethead. And she's really a millionaire, no kidding? Hmm, suppose you could live, let's say, 140 years. You'd never count all the millions. But the tragic thing is that the poor little old lady is going to be all alone in the world now that I'm to be executed. All alone with her money. Calm down. Don't take it so hard, friend. There, calm down. There's no use crying about it because you know as well as I do that there's nothing that can be done. Yeah, take it easy, poor dear lady Panafleeter. Look, I've got a good idea. After you two are gone, I'll take care of her. I'd like to get to know her. Come right in, Mr. Bullethead. Consider yourself in your own home. Where is she? Where is Lady Fanfleeta? Listen, my friend, wouldn't you like to show her to him? Goodbye forever, my beloved lady. I'm leaving you in the best of hands. You'll take care of her, won't you? As if she were your own family, Carrothead. You take care of her, and she'll take care of you. And you take that! <laughs> Come on, hurry! Hey, what's that? Jump and Jehoshaphat, about no wonder my aunt never came home. No, wait, this isn't my aunt. Look at that skull. This one swallowed a man. It could be your mother. What? Let's have a little more respect, Mr. Oakley. Better still, let's get out of here if we want to save our skins. They won't escape me. I will not let them go. Attention, for the hurricane. Attention. Attack the ogre. Attack the wolf! Look there! He's gonna let loose a car! I can't stand rats! Look out! There he goes, shooting off his mouth! Arr, I'm gonna catch my death in cold! Arr. If he doesn't stop that, I'm gonna be in bed for a month with pneumonia! That is, if they don't saw me in two before that. Uh, he's blowing us all over the place. I can't stand this much longer. Uh, look out, we're being surrounded. Look out, Mr. Ogre. Now we're in for it. We're going to have to fight our way out of it. You like that side, and I'll take this side. Oh, so uh, you can take the ogre that uh, easily. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, 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 take that. Uh, 
that you possess. They are not to lose consciousness for a second. Let me hear their moans before they go. Understood? Hear what she said, Carradine. We have to carry out the Queen's orders. That's right, we have to make our Queen happy. I think we should use torture number three, don't you? That'll make a good appetizer. Right. You mean you're going to serve us an appetizer? As a first course. <laughs> And we guarantee you that you'll find it simply delicious. No, no, not, not the feather. Please, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Put me down! Put me down! Don't knock your head off! 
Yes, sir, that's right. Who made you grow so large? I'll tell you the Fairy of Dawn did it. And now I'm bigger than you are, even. Thanks, Tom Thumb. Thank you all for having saved my life. Ah. Ooh, my hair is parted right down the middle. I won't stand for it. And now the Queen of Badness is going to get what's coming to her. Come on! Hurry, everybody. Yeah, let's go. I abhor her so. I'm talking about that beastly little Bradford Riding Hood. You are to inherit this throne. It is right that you were in the position that will be yours. So fly out and find her. Don't lose a moment. I need her here. As you desire, sister, I'll not be long. Be careful! Be careful! Get away! Oh my God! Oh my God! Come back, Riding Hood! Where are you? Unless I'm wrong, she went that way. Riding no, this way. Go no, that way. Come on, then. Riding Hood! Riding Hood! Riding Hood! Are you surprised, Riding Hood? Such a darling little child. I don't know you. Who are you? You don't know who Adelhead is? The heir to this region. But come along, darling. My big sister has asked to see you. I told you to come along. Little Red Riding Hood! Little Red Riding Hood! Riding Hood! Where are you? That's very strange. I don't like this. <laughs> I knew you'd be here soon. I was waiting. It's that bloody bloodsucker. My eyes will paralyze you. Retreat. Get back. Get back. That guy is dangerous. He'll suck your blood, so beware. Retreat. Retreat. Tranquil, steady as you are. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking for it. <laughs> I was pretending to be under his power. <laughs> we gotta do something about him. Uh, now let's see. Ah, here's what I want. I'm going to make sure that he doesn't suck anybody's blood again. I'll drive this stake in his heart. Now I know this path won't lead us into town. I hate to say it, but we're good and lost. Let's go this way. This is useless. Only Riding Hood and Tony could help us now. Well, come on. Here she is, sister. Come here. There's no doubt about it, child. You are pretty. Very pretty. And because you are, I hate you. Yes, I hate you, you beastly meddling little child. And the revenge I have in mind is so horrid that no one could imagine it. <laughs> Children, it's useless to go home because the inhabitants of the village have been enchanted by the Queen of Badness. They would not recognize you. You should go back and help Tom Thumb because he and Red Riding Hood are fighting against the Queen of Badness. But how will we find Riding Hood out here? There's a big woods and we'll keep getting lost. Just stay on that trail there. Soon you'll come to a great cavern. 
And the entrance is a mysterious passageway. But golly, we're really afraid. Draw near the wand, children, and you will be given three things to help you. Valor, perseverance, and gratitude. Evil cannot prevail over goodness and virtue. Okay, kids, let's go. This is terrible. We've looked everywhere and she just doesn't show up. And all because she ran on ahead. Let's stop talking about it and decide what to do. Undoubtedly some monster kept her. She's probably in the palace of the Queen of Badness. Frankenstein! I await your orders, Majesty. Frankenstein! The wolf and the ogre are about to attack the palace. I want you to do away with them. Her Majesty, we could send the fire dragon out into the grotto to repulse the attack. In seconds, he'd tear them to pieces. Magnificent idea. Let the dragon loose this moment. This is how I'll wreak revenge on those intruders. I will carry out your orders immediately. No, don't do it. Don't kill them. I beg of you. You'd hate to see them die, eh? Well, just wait. When your friends get here before your eyes, they'll meet a gory death. But have patience, child. You'll be next. No, Your Highness, don't be so cruel. No, no. I swear I could see flames up ahead. It's awful hot down here. I'm starting to sweat. And I can smell burning sulfur. Me too. What an awful stench. Crowd drag. After them. Ah! After him, Ogre. After them, dragon. Swallow them. Burn them up. You want to know what real strength is? Take that! And that! Now at last I'll have my revenge upon them. Yes, you're so right. Your magic, your power, this boom ba! The dragon, the dragon, rah, rah, rah! <laughs>
this is the filter that you wanted to get your hands on to break the spell that I cast on the villagers. It's a wonderful potion. Don't worry, it'll never be yours. I don't know why you'd like to be so cruel and harsh. Nobody has done you any harm. Pardon us and leave us alone. Pardon you? What nonsense. Don't you realize that I'm a witch? My character only allows for such things as murder and hate and torture. Furthermore, since there's not a moment to lose, I'll make you pay for your impudence. Your eyes. All your beauty depends upon your eyes, and so they must be plucked out. You will never see again, you meddling brat. I'll destroy your beauty. These nails will tear them from your head. No, don't. Please don't. Help, I need you. She's gone crazy. Mr. Ogre, Mr. Hulk, comes up. The witch is going to tear my eyes out. The ogre is not here. He cannot help you now. Mr. Ogre, comes up. <laughs> That way! Yes, that way! Run, run, hurry! Riding hurts! A moment, Come on. Get back, you miserable fools! Don't come near me! Or I'll pluck right out now! All witches are cowardly! You don't dare fight us! Not one false move, any of you! Or I'll throw this filter down into that pit! And it'll be all over for you then! Do you understand? <laughs> Really, it's too bad that you were not murdered battling my monsters. Such a pleasant death compared to the fate you have in store for me. Because now you'll suffer more. I'll call on fire to fire to wear. Adelheid, how could you be such an idiot? Give me that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Give it to me. Sure, here it is. Why, Give me of that. Of course, I'd be glad to. Give it to me. Here, 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 here. Run! I am! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Give it to me. Come and get it, all Lucky girl! It's not your turn! It's my turn! Come on! Give it to me! Come on! Give it to me! Watch out! Over here! Over here! Oh, come on! Get over here! 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 Come on, throw it to the floor. 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 Come on, you ninny! You're just too bad! Stay there! That filter is mine, you know. And you're not going to keep it, child, so hand it over quickly. Be quiet, you imbecile! Or I'll throw the girl into the fire. Give me the bow, Red Riding Hood. All right, Your Majesty. I'll give you back the potion. But promise to disenchant the town and not hurt any of us. By all means, I swear to you. Oh, believe her, little Red Riding Hood. If you give it back, she'll destroy us. Come on. Ah! Where is the queen? She fell into the fire pit. We're free. We're free. Let us not be disrespectful. A quarter of a second silence in memory of the queen of Just a minute, Bandit. old girl. There. Where do you think you're off to? Well, you won't get away with it. How about it, everyone? Shall we give the old witch a trial? Oh, not me. I mean, don't make me go down there. You know, I'm not so bad, really. Who's gonna believe an evil old witch? Oh, please, Riding Hood, tell the others to have mercy. From now on, I'll become a good witch, child. Actually, she hasn't hurt anyone, you know. That cruel little Red Riding Hood is right. Come to think of it, she never cast a spell on anyone. It's all very well, but I'd like some proof of her kindness. I can do that, and at this very moment. This will be my first kind act as a good witch. What's she going to do? Yeah, she must have something up her sleeve. Oochie, foochie, foochie, foochie. Oochie, foochie, foochie, fa. I'll use my magic and my cunning and the contents of my jar. Hooray! The villagers are free! 
We have to send this evil soldier back to the devil where it came from! The fairy! It's true! And a beautiful fairy at that! At last, you have destroyed the devil's dominions completely. All the monsters and the hobgoblins and the witches have been banished from the earth forever. This is a happy day! Oh! And the witch is the one who did it. That's true. She helped us disenchant the town. Yes, and now all will be happy and live in tranquility. There's only one evil thing that still remains, and that's you. Why didn't you touch her with your magic wand so that she wouldn't be a witch anymore? Could you do that, Fairy of the Dawn? And if it isn't asking too much, I'd like to be as pretty as you are. Ah, hold on a minute. There are some miracles even she can't work. Consider your wish granted. And remember that beauty and ugliness are in the heart, as are evil and virtue. If you want to be beautiful, you'll be beautiful. And if you want to be good, you'll be very good.